jumping right into the first one, what if you can add up to 12 gestures on your Galaxy S10? And not just navigation gestures, you can take screenshots, you can uh, lock your screen, you can pull down the notification panel or even your quick settings. And what's even better is that it has been developed by Samsung themselves. So it's available on the Play Store for you to download and install for free. And there are a ton of customization possible. Obviously you have all these gestures on the left edge as well as the right edge. And you can determine three navigation styles on each edge. And there are a couple of possibilities. You could launch the assistance app, you can take a screenshot, you can pull down the notification panel, enable one-handed mode and so on. And you know, you have that gesture show up as you start swiping, so it's really easy. Of course, you can change the size, the width, and the position of these activation areas, so it's really easy. Coming to the next one, I have a blue keyboard for Instagram. For WhatsApp, it's dark green. Uh, if I go over to, let's say, the Play Store, it's lighter green on Google, sorry, on Gmail, it's red. So the keyboard accent color keeps changing and it picks up automatically from the icon. That's because I've got the Chroma keyboard installed with the adaptive color theme. Of course, there are all kinds of customizations and preferences that you can set up for this keyboard so that it works exactly as per your preferences and it's free on the Play Store. Now, there is no inbuilt screen recording feature in the Galaxy S10, but I have managed to get a screen recording setting in my quick settings panel. Now, to do that, I simply installed MNML screen recording and you know, whatever actions or activity that you're doing on your smartphone gets recorded, shake to stop, it gets stored in your gallery and you can just go ahead and play. And the playback is quite phenomenal. It records at really high bit rate at 60 frames per second and the playback, as you can see, it's really, really smooth. So very easy to use and a must have app. Coming to the fourth one in the list is reachability cursor. Now I've got the Galaxy S10 Plus and it's got a pretty massive display which makes it a little difficult for me to reach the top. And that's where this app comes in handy, you know? So let's say I wanna go hit settings. I could just call the reachability cursor from the edges of my display and I can just, you know, reach the top. So it really makes it easy for me to reach to those hard to reach areas. I don't have to stretch my hand. It makes single handed use really easy. Of course, there's a single handed mode as well, but yeah, there is a bit of customization possible in the free mode. So you can increase the activation area and the position, but there is also a pro mode if you want like a lot more features, but the free mode is quite enough to get started. Now we all know that the Galaxy S10 has the best display in the entire smartphone industry and having the right wallpaper can really enhance your overall experience of having owned the Galaxy S10. That's where this app, the Wallpapers Ultra HD 4K comes into play. It's got a very stunning collection of wallpapers. You would probably not find them together in one app the way you do in this particular app. And you know, there are a bunch of features installed within the apps. For example, if you want to blur a wallpaper that's too busy. Of course, you've got the options to favorite, download and set as wallpaper up within the app itself. And down below you also have a popular section. So it's got some, again, very nice wallpapers. And if you like something, just hit download and it will save to your gallery free. Oh, and obviously it's got all the categories that you can possibly think of. There's abstract, cars, space, dark, nature. Uh, there's Christmas, so it's, of course it's seasonal. And it's got the AMOLED category as well, which is pretty much fit for your Galaxy S10. The next app in the list is a sleep timer for any of your music players. You know, a lot of times in the night when I'm about to hit the bed, I listen to some light music or just, you know, some ambient music and that could be on Spotify, YouTube or my native built-in player. And with this app, I can set a timer after which it can automatically either lock the screen, turn off Wi-Fi or just go into silent mode. And there is a bit of customization possible, but I think the app pretty much works the way it is. And the last app is the Nova Launcher. So if you see this setup that I have, this really beautiful wallpaper, the persistent Google search bar, my icon pack, and all of that, and the way I've positioned them, the size of the icons, gesture, navigation, gesture to uh, you know launch apps, go to my phone dialer, open my camera. Imagine, I don't have icons for these on my home screen, but just through gestures, I can call those apps out. That's where Nova Launcher comes into place. It's a home screen replacement app. I'm sure you've heard of it and if you haven't, just go ahead and install it. You know, you can change a lot of stuff, add a lot of customization and just make your phone look even better. 
For example, here I can change the icon pack. I'm using the Sagon or the Sagon, I don't know how you want to pronounce that, circle icon pack. It's available for a certain cost, but I think it looks gorgeous and it, lo it goes so well with the wallpaper that I have. So any combination of red, black, red, maroon, it'll look good. Now, of course, you can change a lot of things. You can change, uh, you know, the drawer, the app drawer grid size, the home screen grid size to a, to a lot more extent than you can generally do with the home screen settings on your Galaxy S10. You can customize the Google persistent search bar on top, how you want it to look like, what color it should be. Um, you can change the opacities, the transparencies, the colors of your app drawer, how many icons to show up in, in rows and columns, what should be their size. And with Nova Launcher Prime, you can add a ton of gestures to launch or perform certain actions. That's just insane. I think it's one of the best features of Nova Launcher. So guys, those were seven apps that I think you must have on your Galaxy S10e or the S10 or the S10 Plus. So if you have any recommendations, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe.